Glory be to God. This is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad. Thank you for being part of this live broadcast that is changing lives all over the world. Our passion is to see you rise from from one level of life to another and to make a difference with whatever God has entrusted to your care. And I just want to share briefly with us on the the purpose of mentorship. The purpose of mentorship. Why do we have mentors in our lives? Why do we have people? A mentor is a person with an ability to help someone grow mentally, spiritually, and emotionally. A mentor is a person with an ability to help someone get better in what God has called them to do. A mentor is not someone who brings limitation into our life. A mentor is someone who helps us to break the limitation. A true mentor ensures that you grow beyond the point where he or she met you. A true mentor ensures that you grow beyond the point where he or she met you. True mentorship has to be based on biblical principles. I said, true mentorship has to be based on a biblical principle. A mentor is not someone who is out there to extort you, to abuse you, but is someone who is interested in your self-development, the vision. So we all need mentors to be able to fulfill the call of God in our lives. Why do we need a mentor? Why was Paul in the life of Timothy? Why was Paul in the life of Timothy? Because there are certain things we won't be able to do for ourselves, but someone can share with us how to do it. A mentor is a person who brings inspiration into your life. A mentor is a person who brings inspiration into your life. A mentor is a person who can stretch you to grow spiritually. A mentor is a person who can stretch you to grow spiritually. A mentor is a person who helps you to improve on your skill. Is a person who helps you to improve on your skill. Whatever you have been called to do, he wants to see you do it at the point of excellence, to do it with clarity, to do it with a sense of direction. A mentor is a person who wants to see you improve on your skill. A mentor is a person who teaches you biblical values or values that will help you to excel in what God has called you to do. Someone who could teach you values that could help you to excel in what you're called to do. A mentor is a person who you can learn from his lifestyle and way of operation. A mentor is a person whom you can learn from his lifestyle and his way of operation. A mentor is a person who have the ability to take you from point A to point D. He has the ability to work with you to be able to help you get to the next level. Now, there are a lot of people you can be mentored through books. You can be mentored through books. Someone can be mentored through books or one way or the other, through videotapes and other things who can be mentored. But I like having a, a mentor that I can reach. When I talk about I can reach, I can either reach on phone or I can reach, we can talk on phone, we can be able to share together someone that can have time for me. A mentor is also someone who can be able to have a time for his protege. You know, sometimes people go and have a mentor that won't have time for them. A mentor that is, you know, they are looking at the person, they say, this person has so much money in case I have a problem, he can come and bail me out. That is not the reason for mentorship. The reason why this mentor is in our life is to help us rise beyond the point where we are. And if you are going to succeed in your purpose, you need to understand the value and the power of mentorship. Can I say this to you? A mentor is someone who also has the ability to help you stay connected to the will of God for your life. A mentor is a person who has the ability to help you stay connected to the will of God for your life. Whatever the will of God is for your life, he wants you to stay connected to that will of God. A mentor is not someone who enslaves you emotionally or spiritually or abuses you financially. 
A mentor is not someone who comes into your life to abuse you. It's someone who comes into your life to build you up. The reason for mentorship is to build up life, to inspire life, to create an opportunity for people to be able to manifest the God life. So, a true mentor, now there are things that is required from the protege, from someone who is learning from the mentor. Look at 2 Kings chapter 2. 2 Kings chapter 2, you saw Elisha, Elijah. Before 2 Kings chapter 2, we read that Elisha was pouring water in the hand of Elijah. Elisha was pouring water in the hand of Elisha. You know, some people want to experience the kind of grace that is upon their mentor, but they are not willing to serve the mentor. They are not willing to serve the mentor. They are not willing to yield themselves to the instruction that the mentor wants to pass across to them. Can I say this to you? Instructions are resources. I said instructions are resources. If you truly want to succeed in your calling, in your assignment, you must learn to handle instruction with wisdom and understanding. Instructions are resources. If I'm going to excel, I must understand the power of instruction. And every instruction that Elijah gave to Elisha, if you watch Elisha, he was very connected to Elijah. But Gehazi was not that way. Gehazi was this guy that was looking for opportunity, that was looking for a way to do something that he ought not to do. And Gehazi ran off his purpose. And Gehazi lost out on the will of God. How many people today in the body of Christ have stepped out of the relationship that God connected them? How many people today in the body of Christ have missed their place of destiny because of their inability to be sensitive to the season that God has brought them into? I wouldn't have been able to teach this way I'm teaching today if not for me being able to listen to God, listen to His Word, listen to the things He's telling me. You see, obedience can open the door of understanding. I said obedience can open the door of understanding. Obedience can open the door of understanding. Most people don't truly know that when you choose to walk in obedience, you will open the door of understanding. God enjoys people who obey His instruction. He enjoys people who obey his instruction. He enjoys people who obey his word. He enjoys people who listen to him. So a true mentor is someone who helps you to get better. A true mentor. The purpose of mentorship is to strengthen your passion for your purpose. The, the purpose of mentorship, that a mentor comes into your life, is talking with you, and you have to have an attention for the mentor. You, the things that is required in mentorship, attention from the protege. Attention. Your mentor must have your own divided attention if your mentor must pour into you. You must have your own divided attention. A lot of people want to be mentored, but they don't have the time for the instructions. Because instructions are vital to building your leadership capacity. You, you can't truly really build your leadership capacity when you don't listen to instruction, when you don't have instruction. You, can, you can't really build your leadership capacity. So great leaders understand that when you give an attention to the mentor, it helps him to be able to pour into your life. Do you have someone who pours into your life? Do you have someone who could actually bring counsel to you, direction to you? Maybe you are confused, someone you could talk with. You can't do it all alone. Don't be deceived. You can't do it all alone. We all need each other. I have a mentor. I have someone I talk to. I have someone, maybe something is going on. I say, what do you think about this? What, what is your take on this? When you were in this kind of situation, what do you think about it? So mentorship actually helps us to experience a covering. It helps us to experience a covering. And people take this light because of their inability to understand the purpose of the mentorship. I also understood that a lot of people have been hurted as a result of mentorship relationship. They have been betrayed. They have been abused. They have been hurted. So most people have pulled out from anything that has to do with a mentorship relationship. Listen to this. Just that the first person you was mentoring you or was teaching you abuse you doesn't mean everyone is that way. You need to listen to God for him to lead you to who he wants him to mentor you. There is someone listening to me right now. There is someone that God wants you to listen to for him to mentor you, to be able to help you develop your calling. Sometimes the calling is in there, but we, we are unable to develop it because you need someone to help you. 
You need someone to help you. You need someone to inspire you. You need someone to, to help you unlock your, your, your greatness that is within you. You need someone to come into your life to help you develop the things that God has placed in you. Can I say this to you, friends? If you truly want to succeed in your calling, if you truly want to succeed in your assignment, don't ignore the voice of a mentor. Don't ignore the voice of a mentor. A mentor is in your life to help you improve on your vision. A mentor is in your life to help you improve in your vision. So a mentor needs an attention. A mentor needs a time. And a mentor needs, he needs your attention. He needs your time. And a mentor needs your focus. Your mentor, he needs your, fo your focus. Your mentor needs your attention. If you're going to benefit from a mentorship relationship, he needs your attention, he needs your, he needs your time, you need to exchange your time for wisdom, for knowledge, and for revelation and instruction. He, he, your mentor also needs you to submit to his authority. You know, a lot of people are, are very rebellious and that has affected the continuity of their destiny. They are very rebellious. They are not willing to take instruction. They are not willing to listen to anyone. They felt they got all the answers. And that is why you see them have a shipwreck and so many things happen around their life. Because in a mentorship relationship, your mentor can see something you can see. Your mentor can see something that you cannot see. I may not be able to see it, but my mentor can see it. And then he can bring me a word, a wisdom, an understanding, an insight to help me navigate from that situation. You know, sometimes in life, we need relationship to build the kind of destiny we have always desired. We need relationship to be able to step into our calling. We need relationship to be able to step into our purpose. We need relationship to build our dreams and our purpose. We need relationship. We can't truly prosper in any agenda most of the time without understanding relationship that God has put us into. So relationship, most things that God will be doing in your life, He will do through relationship. Most things that God would do in your life, you would do through relationship. You're watching me to on Periscope. Maybe someone invited you. Maybe someone told you about me. Maybe you just went to somewhere. You heard about me or something. You just started viewing me or watching me on YouTube or whatever way. You see, somehow, someone did something that hooked us up together. So, relationship is uh, a, a vital aspect of our life. And my prayer for you today is that your path will cross with the right person. Your paths will cross with the right people, the right kind of mentor, the right kind of people that will help you grow and develop your calling. There are many people carrying greatness in them, but nobody's there to cultivate them. Nobody is there to help them push their baby. They are pregnant with destiny, but no one is taking that time to mentor, to tutor, to train, to counsel. For some people, God sent them a mentor, but they despise the mentor. Maybe they look at his age. Okay, how old are you? Oh, you're 25 years. Oh, I'm in my 40s. How can you be my mentor? You're too young. No, that is not how you do it. God can put a wisdom in someone who is 20 years old and you're in your 50. You need that wisdom to be relevant. Relevant in your fifty, you need the wisdom. Jesus was not was no more was not the oldest person on the face of the earth when he came to the earth. Before Jesus was born into this world, there were human beings living here in the earth. There were human beings in this earth. There were disciples of Jesus. They were older than Jesus. They were disciples of Jesus that was older than Jesus. Can I let you know this? That sometimes people allow their age to take the place of wisdom. They say, okay, I'm older than him. He's just a young boy. He's just a young woman. No, the wisdom doesn't have anything to do with age. When you see someone that is that have wisdom, that have understanding, go under them and learn from them. Go under them and listen to them. Your, your purpose in life should be to do the will of God and to fulfill your potential. Your purpose in life should be to do the will of God and fulfill your potential. That should be your purpose in life. You shouldn't, if you see someone that have wisdom, that have understanding, that have revelation and inspiration, submit to their leadership. Get the instruction, get the wisdom, get the understanding, improve your life to be able to do what God is calling you to do. Pride is a major reason why most people will never grow.
Pride is a major reason why most people will never test their greatness. Pride is a major reason why the ministry of most people will never take off. Pride is a major reason why most potent, most gifted people will never rise to the top. Pride is the major reason why most people will take their own life. Pride is the major reason why God will send people mentors but they will never listen to them. A proud man have no future with God. A proud man have no destiny in God. The Bible said God will resist the proud and he will give more grace to the humble. Can I say this to you? Humility is the mark of greatness. Humility is one of the key factors required in mentorship relationship. Humility is one of the key factors required in mentorship relationship because when you have humility, it is an inspiration for your future. Can I say this to you? No matter what God has gifted you with, no matter what God has anointed you with, stay humble. When you stay humble, you can communicate your gifting. You can share your gifting. You can be a blessing to the people in your generation. A true mentor is humble. A true mentor is gentle, but very disciplined. Humble, gentle, but very disciplined. Why? Because in mentorship, it takes discipline to put people on the right track. Because there are certain people that want to do things according to their way. So you have to tell them, sit down here. This is what the scripture said. This is what the word of God said. So a mentor is someone who helps you to reposition your potential. It's someone who helps you to reposition your life to move in the direction of divine order. So your mentor is not a tormentor. He's not someone who comes to torment you or to, to oppress you. I don't believe in such mentorship where people torment people, abuse them. No, no, no. A mentor is someone who gives you the freedom and allow you to make your decision. Even in your mistakes, he may be there to correct you. A mentor is not someone who, who will teach you everything, but it's someone who can teach you some things that will help you get better. He's not the person who is going to teach you everything, but he's someone who is going to teach you things that will help you get better. So the purpose of mentorship is to help you rise, is to help you get better. There is something you're not seeing about you, but he's seen it. There is something you have not known, but he knows it. So you, you need to line up yourself to be able to fulfill the call of God in your life. Do you know that in every generation, God can send you people that, are, that, that can help you grow up? But you have the choice to choose them. I've met with a, a mentor who was very cruel, you know, very cruel. He can say all manner of things, but he was a very gifted teacher. He was a very gifted teacher. And the Lord one time told me, don't look at this man's character. Look at the things he's teaching. If you can lay hold to those principles, don't bother much about his character. It was just for a season. And there are mentorship for a season. There are certain people that can just mentor you for one year or for two years. Then God brings you to the real relationship that you needed that can be able to build up your whole life. Can I say this to you? Be sensitive to the timing, be sensitive to seasons, and be sensitive to the location. You know, for most people, they are stagnant when it comes to the things of the Spirit. They are stagnant. They don't want to listen. They don't want to follow up. They don't want to continue on the things that God is saying. So if I want to succeed in life, I need to find my mentor. I need to find who I'm supposed to be running with. Who am I running with? Who can I, can I pray with? Who can I spend my time with? Who can I talk with? If I have this issue, who do I share with? You can't do everything alone. You can't do everything alone, no matter how gifted, no matter how prayerful you are. You need people. Mentorship is essential for the growth of your purpose. Mentorship is relevant to the scheme of things in the kingdom of God. Mentorship can serve as a platform to unlocking the hidden treasures within you. Mentorship can bring an inspiration to your dream. I pray for you today that God will help you to find a mentor, someone that can teach you, someone that can coach you, someone that can inspire you, that can help you become who God wants it to be. Thank you for listening to this broadcast today. If you're watching me for the first time, maybe you haven't known Jesus as your Lord and Savior, and you want to receive Jesus, you can say this after me. Lord Jesus, I accept you as my Lord and my Savior. I confess with my mouth, and I believe in my heart that God has raised Jesus from the dead. Thank you, Father, for saving me. 
Amen. If you pray that prayer or born again, you can look for Bible believing church where you can grow and fulfill your purpose in Christ Jesus. And secondly, I encourage you to subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's Faith Man Teaching on YouTube. When you subscribe to our, to our YouTube channel, you will have timeless principles of God's word. The word of God that has potential to change your life. You know, you listen to those messages that will move you to the next level. So you just go to YouTube and subscribe to Faith Man Teaching on YouTube and you will have revelations and revelations and revelations and you'll be able to build your life. Then you can share with your friends and your family members to grow in their work with God. And finally, we always encourage people to partner with this ministry through partnership. I'm able to do most things I'm doing around the world today, changing the lives of people as the day breaks. So you can go to PayPal and send it an offering or sow a seed or if you don't want to do it through paypal you want to do it through bank transfer any other medium you can hook up with me on facebook is fateman obweda on facebook fateman obweda on facebook when you hook up with me you can inbox me and we can talk i love you looking forward to seeing you on my next broadcast next broadcast but don't forget mentorship is the key to deploying great potential we love you until we'll see you soon.